Hi, welcome to this unscripted video about the Villa Secrets Network and real estate in Cape Town, real estate sales. Well, one of the point, the creation of a real estate company that really focuses on mandates and um, makes some sales, but makes actually more money from rentals. This is the uh, Villa Secrets website as it currently is. We've got a little way to go, but uh, it's getting there. This is the home page. Below we can see we've got some nice little villas. We're really focusing on, you know, the very best of the best in Africa, Cuisine Island, Serengeti House, Stefan Anthony's Villas, Singita, Villas in Cape Town in general, private islands. Here's where we were in Vogue recently. Here's a bit of our new magazine. And some extra things. That's the that's the website. It's got a great blog. This blog is in WordPress. The rest of the website is using our own framework. And for our blogs, we really, we really go the extra mile. Let's have a look at one. Have a look at the Lusaba. That's Sir Richard Branson's safari lodge, but it uh, can be rented out as two separate 12 bedroom, 10 to 12 bedroom villas at 250,000 rands a night per piece. So we're happy to call it a villa. And this is the way we do the blogs. Great imagery, you know, lots of text, not lots of text, lots of. Uh, <laughs> Lots of great photographs, basically. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a glorified picture gallery. And uh, this is, it's, we're doing well with this. We've just spoken to Condé Nast House and Leisure. And as a part of an advertorial at uh, a reduced price, we're starting to make four-page be- four, uh, four magazine slots. Sorry, one second. Okay. But let's forget about this website and the blogs for now. Let's go straight into Join Villa Secrets. This will soon be connected to the uh, the main website. It's in four or five sections. Villa Secrets Cape Town. Villa Secrets Africa. Villa Secrets Global. The total financial business and marketing software, which really is going to be quite cool. M Systems, which is very cool. And S World, which at the moment gives a little, little bit about uh, why we're doing this. The inspiration, my daughter Sienna. And we're creating a charity, the Sienna Foundation. And all that we see is, in essence, a very, very complex, economically viable, well, soon to be proven economically viable business that uh, really ends up making a lot of money for good causes. Let's go straight into uh, Villa Secrets Cape Town. And we've got uh, three sections, mandates, villa rentals and real estate. This video is now for the real estate. And really, we're going to focus on this, mandates. What have we got? What have we got that no one else has got? Okay. We got a million rands to put on a marketing budget for a property that is is worth our time. It's, you know, generally in that two and a half million dollar bracket and above, that would be about 40 million rands. And, uh, yeah, you can read all about it here. I'm not going to go into it because there is a load of detail here. Thousand, one million reasons to sign a Villa Secrets mandate. One million marketing budget due diligence because we need to show how we can afford this because, as, as we'll see, this is about twice as much as a real estate company would make from selling a villa. And as far as we know, Villa rental companies don't use their commission for marketing. They may ask the owner to chip in for some marketing, 
but they certainly don't put in a million rands, which is, let's have a look, rand to dollar. Well, there you go, it'd be $70,000. So that's a lot of money to spend on marketing, especially when we are a marketing company and we're, we're not, uh, there's no markup on it. We're not charging for our marketing. We do the marketing because we want to do marketing. This is a part of a global strategy. The more content we make, the better it is for us. So we're looking for ways to deploy that content most efficiently and putting a million rand of that content and PR into a single villa makes a lot of sense for us. Um, if one was to go to an agency, they would be, they would, be, they would make profit and they would pay tax on their profit. So that would be probably 50% more, hundred percent more in some cases. So when we're saying a million rands in marketing and development, we're saying what would cost you about one and a half. Okay. Let's get, uh, let's get straight into other, and now, hang on. There are the 1 million is, is, is a great incentive. And I'm sure any real estate agent watching this is going to be thinking, hang on, if we can team up with them, you know, we're going to we're going to make a lot of sales and we're going to make that even easier. We only do them. Well, it's not it's not a complete hard and fast rule, but we can only, you know, at the moment we've, we, we can budget for four villas in 2017 and we're, we're going to prioritize the ones that also give our estate agent partner the mandate when it comes to sell. And we create a great pack for them with their villa in magazines. And we, you know, we'll get hundreds of the magazines, put it in a pack. So when the estate agent goes to a client, here you go. It's a pack with our Villa Secrets magazine, various Condé Nast magazines, this, that, and the other, a video of all the commercials that have been there. Really, you know, a real good marketing system. And, uh, Besides, besides that, there are we've got 19. Actually, this is a bit out of date. There's now 23 different ways Villa Secrets will attract sell mandates. And we go from working with the property managers, advertising on Google. You know, yeah, here it is. It's all you, you can read it yourself. One second. OK, so let's get into it. And we're going to. Uh, it's all it's all around a spreadsheet, I'm afraid. So it's it's. It's not that uh, visually interesting. And my spreadsheets are so complex because they're actually a part of a design for the total financial business marketing software um, that very few people can actually follow them. So don't, don't feel intimidated. This, this is the first page of the current, uh, current projection. It's, not, it's actually not a projection. What it is, is it's a business plan. Every month, there's something happening. And we've got to do it each month. And if where we make wins, we win. Where you make losers, we've got to compensate. At the mo and uh, I'm not going to get too into it. There's a load of stuff you can read here. M Systems in particular. And actually, you should read the Chaotic Earth game because it's, it's quite a funny joke. Um, but if we look in here, American Butterfly, Fear of Every Business, this was all about building a whopping great big real estate development, spiritual inside soft inspired software, was about adding some ideas of particle physics into it, network on a string, a little bit more detailed with string theory. Um, this ended up as, nope, M systems, a digital theory, everything. You can, you get in the first six points there, you can read through them. So anyway, my point is we use what I call quantum safe forecasting, which uses some elements from quantum mechanics. In fact, it used four rules from quantum mechanics. The first rule is that the further the distance is away, you've got to double the uncertainty. So we've made it so as we fit, we've, we've, we've made everything very low anyway, because that's a, it's another part of of, uh, of, of, of quantum mechanics. But um, we, we've said in the first year, we can be 15% out due to luck. You know, could go one way, could go the other way. Second year, you've got to double that. So that's uh, 30%. Third year, well, actually the fourth year, you double again to make 60. And the third year is 45. This is a third year forecast. We start in year three and we work backwards. That's another rule from quantum mechanics. The Feynman sum over histories. Thank you very much, Stephen Hawking, for putting that in your book. Okay, so 
this is actually the what we we where we expect the shareholder discretionary cash flow. That's basically profit before tax. Um, but we're saying we we got to we got to take into account this uh, uncertainty principle, Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So we're actually saying, look, we, we we're thinking. Worst case scenario, we're going to make about 4.6 million. And, you know, to, to, to make that sort of return as a business for sale, um, you know, we would be looking at about 12 million, you know. But, you know, at the moment, it's it's quite simple. As my business broker explained, you know, re, we didn't explain, he repointed it out that, uh, you know, all I've got to do is make this work here and I can make it work everywhere else. You know, go through Sotheby's, go through Christie's, go, you know, the idea of the Villa Secrets Network is to go to the real estate agents with this sort of plan, develop a Villa rental slash um, sales Villa Secrets division in their location. And we can do that everywhere. If we go to Villa rental companies that are already existing, then um, there's going to be a lot of conflict there. Uh, especially when it comes to mandates. So mandates is the primary um, income source. So it has to be with the real estate agents. Uh, or starting uh, from fresh with, uh, with, with, some, with some individuals. Uh, just about the Villa Secrets Network. You've, everyone's heard of Airbnb, big network all over the world. We're trying to do that in terms of uh, we're located everywhere. But in each location, we want our own franchise. So there's a content marketing division there. There's a hospitality division. There's a concierge division. There's a sales division. So as they get the villas at the better prices, and they sort of, you know, quite often make them exclusive within our network. And um, that's the difference between us and every other company that's trying to be a global villa rental company at the top end is we're going to be there everywhere. Our strategy is a franchising strategy. Um, OK, well, let's talk about that franchising strategy. Let's have a look at how that works here. And we're just looking at the what, what, what people would call the franchise fee, but it's not really a franchise fee because Villa Secrets is a part of S-World and we're currently registering. And currently it's a, it's a PTY uh, UK, but we're registering, I'm registering um, the charity, the Siena Foundation, which is going to take over Villa Secrets. And that will be a non-profit company. And all the individual companies that we make will be profit making companies that pay 25% of their gross profit um, to Villa Secrets, S World Villa Secrets, where we use that in a way that will increase the company's bottom line by more than 25%. So by paying 25%, each of these companies in the Villa Secrets network will make more than 25% due to the result. Um, Okay, so uh, just get a sip of water. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this very, very, very quick. These turnover and villa owner payments, don't worry about them much. That's just a calculation. It's 85% uh, above the commission. What we, where we, where we work in is the commissions. And we've got the gross profit here, 21 million for rentals and 8, 9 million for sales. Here, we can see that 7.5, that's the money that goes to Villa Secrets Corporate or S World Villa Secrets for operations, development and marketing. And here we can see the other expenses. Now there's a lot of give and take here. Um, obviously, if the company doesn't make as much money, all most of these things go down respect, respective to it, i.e. The, um, the license fee will go down. Hang on, we have to go to this sheet. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Let's have a look at um, rentals, sales commission. That's basically 80,000 rands for uh, basic salaries and 12.5% commission on average. Um, but for the um, sales, the, the, the people that are doing the real estate sales, um, we're just working on what, I think the uh, real estate companies work on, which is 50%, but we're taking 50% of gross profit after the license fee, not 50% of sale. So it's basically 50% of 75%. Obviously, if this, if this makes less money, 
it's safe because these are all going to go down. We've got whopping great big, you know, 100,000 here for Villa Secrets Office and staff. That's the marketing department and other expenses. And most, most of this, well, not most of this, but a lot of this money here, operational funding, will go down should there be, you know, less, should it not work as well. Okay. Where, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the, one second, I'll find it soon. I'm going to find it on this first page. It's easier to find here. Uh, here we go. Income. Yeah. Other expenses that I've just thrown in for the real estate companies is 680,000 rands and AdWords. Now, what does that buy us? Let's have a look. I know typically a real estate agent wouldn't use Google AdWords because it's it's not really for them. And we can tell that because the bids for um, a Cape Town property, cost per click is only 31. Only 30, yes, only 0.31. Uh, 30 cents, whereas for Cape Town Villas, it's more like $7. So it's very cheap, but it's probably mostly ineffective unless you do a mass strategy. And this is a mass strategy. What we've got here is we've got all of these keywords. Number one, globally, for Cape Town property, property in Cape Town, la -di -da, how many are there? 7,000 people searching for that. Then we double it because there's going to be lots of other little keywords, 14,000 people. Of that remarketing, 510,000 people are going to see great ads that we make. And those people will have been come from these uh, searches. So they will be interested in property. Remarketing is really where it, where it becomes useful for a real estate agent because it's, it's just good branding. Um, and we're going to put that on villasecrets.com and we're going to advertise villasecrets.com as uh, number one in Google for all of these search terms everywhere in the world. Plus, the villa rental company that goes with this sort of package that we're doing for the, for the, for the real estate agent who is uh, wise enough to choose to back us with about four million rands. Um, we're gonna advertise the, their, their website, katelluxuryvillas.com at number two. And we're gonna advertise, we're gonna make a, a property, property company. I don't know, I like this, africanhomes.com. Um, but, uh, you know, Platinum places, but African homes, I like that. So there would be Cape Town dot, dot African homes. And oops, where have we got? Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> yeah, okay, this would be that there. So in essence, we're advertising at number one, two, and three for every single pop property related Cape Town um, keyword phrase. In Google. So I don't know why other people aren't doing it because it's not that expensive, you know, it's half a million rands or something. Anyway, okay, that's what were we doing? We were looking at those expenses. So yeah, we put that one in there. Search engine optimization. Yeah, why not? Print media. Now this is looking all the more promising because I'm starting to work with Condé Nast who like what we're doing. Um, they charge us half price for a four for a four page article on say Ulusaba and um, a private island and a Cape Town villa and villa secrets and they do it so as it, it's they they actually make it themselves we give them the copy we give them the um, the photos and they, uh, they 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 edit it and make it their own so it's I you wouldn't realize it was an ad. Uh, so, and that's priceless. Also, you get on the Condé Nast radar, which starts getting villas into the, um, the awards. Not, not that anyone's influenced by advertisers. 
it's just because you're on the table already. You know, if, if, if you're there, people will have a look and go, look, how, let's have a look at this Villa Seeker as well. You know, they're basically a very complex charity, which is good. You know, they, they've got a good philosophy that they want to be there for clients when they go to Tanzania. They want an office in Tanzania. When they go to Zanzibar in Tanzania, we, go, we want an office there. So, you know, there's every reason to support Villa Secrets. Um, other, yeah, there's loads of others just in case. Okay, let's just, talk. we've talked about this website where we're making um, Cape luxuryvillas.com now we can see this income stream it's only a little bit of the income yeah here it is 2 million 2.93 million um now there's loads of material on how this works this is basically one line from the original spreadsheet from the website that we tested in 2015 called Cape Town Luxury Villas. Um, we can have a look at it. Why not? Actually looking quite dated now, but uh, it, it works. You know, we advertise this. We've got a small-ish Google budget, small in comparison to our other website, kvillas.com. And uh, it brings in the inquiries. The inquiries get converted, makes profit. Great. Um, 2015, it made 1.4 million rands. But uh, what um, what we do is is we're safe everywhere. Sorry, I'm I'm losing it. Um, let's have a look how that works. Don't try and follow this. So let's just just work on the result. Here we go. Low estimate for Cape Town Luxury Villas profit. Always we're cautious. Every single point in this presentation is the lowest estimate, lowest reasonable estimate. So for 1.4 million rands, which has also now been backed up by figures in this year by a, a different team, we, we've lowered that to 1 million for safety's sake. And uh, we then divide that into months, depending on seasonality. That gets shown... here and you actually I've changed it to Cape Luxury Villas and that's that purple you see that purple 120 we go down January okay so this is a low forecast because it should have been 1.4 but we've gone to 1 million it also just helps for for the math to make it simple um, what we're, what we're seeing here is in by year three, we're going to have some very sophisticated software. So much so that it increases that income of 120 million to in January of the third year. It, it more than doubles it. It adds another 1.68. Now, what does one have to do to do that? Now, the simple answer to this is one in 20 people who come to our website, make an inquiry. Our software, let's find it, TBMS, total marketing software, is, is gonna be awesome. I'm, I know how to do this, this is my design. It's, this isn't me saying, oh, I'm gonna get a development company to build this. No, 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 I am the system architect, I have my programmers, we are the development company. Um, we've everything in inside of this and there's 20 different uh, 21 different pieces everything is is relatively simple compared to some of the things we've already done and we see here this is what happens after three years between seven to twenty percent ad roll between seven to twenty percent content writing between 10 to thirty percent now what we're saying is in three years that 1 million rands from Cape Town Luxury Villas in 2015, actually the 1.4 rounded to 1 million rands, will increase by 10 to 30% due to content writing. And content writing is 
you know, the key to um, free organic searches and it's how to get in the news and how to get into magazines. The better you, there's a company called Contently and they charge an absolute fortune for this. I spoke to them about it and uh, I, you know, we decided to make our own division and doesn't, when you work it with web development and you can build software around it, it's actually, you know, it's a lot easier than, um, it can be done for a better price. You know, contently aren't, I doubt, making deals with Condé Nast to get their clients in favorable positions. They aren't making award systems to get their clients into their awards whilst being completely fair about it. It's basically quite simple. The villas that we want are the best villas there are. So, of course, we can have an awards because we, we're the best. We, we, we only want the best. If you look at our homepage, if you look at our blogs, you'll only see the best. And it's fair that we can make an award system. Obviously, if someone wins the award, and generally we're not doing top tens, we're doing a few different categories and top three. So a lot of our clients can get into one top three or another. You know, that's that's another good reason to uh, to sell. Anyway, look at that. Look, every time we've got a, a low and a high. And what we do is we always use the low. If we go back to the spreadsheet and here's where it gets rather complex. We can see here is how those effects work. Here's the 20 different items, and there's the low and the high. And we always use the low. Now, someone once said, when we go a couple of years forward from this, or if one uses the high, it actually makes a ridiculous amount, a percentage that can't be real. And that is absolutely correct, because what we do, but sorry, what we do to counteract that is we have a market, market share variable. So as we can never push a company past a certain amount of market share, um, by the way. Okay, we can see how all these bits of software and marketing systems, and when we come here, financial systems, all actually integrate into one perfect system. And why hasn't anyone done this before? Because you would need to have an intimate knowledge of the industry to be able to create the software plan. And I guess it's expensive. If, if, if uh, Salesforce were to make an individual um, system for everything, every, di every different industry, it would take them forever. Um, but actually that's what we're doing. We, you know, we're starting in real estate and then we're gonna adapt it to other industries. Uh, also, uh, there is no software that is financial and a CRM. You, you get financial software, you get CRM softwares that connect together. You don't get one that is one integrated system. And uh, well, I'm really looking forward to getting going with this. And let's go to the right and we can see how this affects each month, i.e. because of Google, no, sorry, Bing, uh, Bing advertising. After three years, we expect to be 5% bigger in this month six in this six six point three and you see it gradually goes up over time and all of this is planned out to a degree uh a lot of the software will get completed in the first year okay so let's go back to where we were and why we started this it was because we were looking at that one million rands from where is it we were looking at one million rands that uh, Cape Town Luxury Villas made in 2015. Actually, it made 1.4, but we round it down to one million rands. We're pro ratering that for the month and saying in January it's 20% more. So we're, we're getting 120 or maybe it's 30%, 40% more. Actually, we're getting about the 12 months, not 10. Sorry, math error. Okay, then we're saying all of that software and marketing will increase the amount of money we make by 186%. And that is, I, and I've said this before, and I, I'll, fit, I'll complete it this time. If we've got 20 different people coming to our website at the moment, only one inquires. If we can change that to one in two, 
you could basically double your double your oh okay sorry about that headphone fell off right let's get back to it yes you can double by going from one in 20 to one in 10 and closing rates currently about one in six if that was down to one in three that would double it again that would do more than all of those 42 things that we've added so you can see why we, why we've done that okay so here we go we're adding 186 and this this increases each month okay and getting back to it now when we said that you're going to have the real estate um, company is going to have their own villas website it's going to be villas at rentals and sale and it's going to be called capeluxuryvillas.com and um, this is what we expect it to make as we said if we go back to here and we can see we're expecting it to make three million rands. there's an awful lot more information about this somewhere where would it be luxury villa rentals four-year plan and financial roadmap yeah here we go and here are seven videos apparently the sounds a little bit quiet in them i apologize for that um if you want to if you want to see them maybe do it with headphones okay let's get back to the spreadsheet so we've had a look at uh, income stream one which is the villa rentals now we're going to get into it the mandates and look at the amount of money that the mandates make here five million we're suggesting from the actual villas bookings but below and this is the magic 10 million is made from the marketing we do Maybe we're putting a million rands into marketing and let's have a look at what that buys this is on the magic mandates spreadsheet which you can um, download off of the mandates pages okay this is booking income okay this is what we're buying this is what we're doing all sorts of stuff. This is website and content marketing, make it an awesome website. Three different photo shoots, customization, lots of SEO, links from various websites like capevillas.com, which are priceless, WordPress blog, lots of content in the WordPress blog. Some more SEO, media collection. That's when. Uh, there's photo shoots going on. We get someone to make sure we, uh, sorry, photo shoots for uh, brands going on. We make sure that uh, we get all the material so we can show it on the website because those brands, you get a good brand like Bulgari shooting at your villa, makes your villa more, more um, well, there is a word, but I've forgotten it. It makes it better. <laughs> Video. Video with sliders, video outsource with drone photography. Um, now, a lot of people wouldn't spend, you know, 3 million rands on, 300,000 rands on a website for a villa. But, um, in fact, if they, if, they, if they went for an agency, it would be a lot more. It would be 600,000, 626,000. But uh, seeing as we're doing it in essence for free, it, uh, you know, it's, it's all, here we've got the advertising, Google ads, continually uh, doing advertising under the names of competitors, advertising under luxury keywords, advertising under specifics. Um, Okay, there, I'll be, I'll be creating those brains. Some great HTML5 ads, so as when anyone comes to the website after they've looked at two pages, for the next two or three months, they'll be seeing great ads of the villa. And if they look at the rental side, they'll be seeing ads for rentals. If they're doing the, if they looked at the sales 
uh, pages, they'll be seeing ads for sales. And one could actually put a brand new property up there saying latest property come through and people will start seeing it on um, Skype and on all, all over the place. A great way to, uh, to, to get new properties that are on mandates out to people, especially as we've already seen, we're going to be number one, two and three in Google for every real estate keyword to do with Cape Town. Um, PR, various PR stuff going on, subscriptions and directories, etc. Now, all of this together makes an awful lot of inquiries for the villa. But the trouble is, you know, once you've sold, rented that villa, you know, you can't rent it twice. Well, of course you can if you've got a villa rental company. Chances are, if we if we put a million rands into marketing for a 40 million rand home, on the second year, we would get 10 quality direct-to-customer um, requests for that new villa at Christmas and New Year. Each, each request worth over a million rands. And... So what we do is we use those inquiries for other to, to rent other villas. And by doing that, we make more money than we do from the um, from the from the actual villa. It's awesome. And there's a lot of due diligence on this. <laughs> okay, home away ads as well for um, villas that we're trying to get on our books. They haven't quite um haven't quite gone exclusive with us yet so we, we advertise them in home away which gets a, a good a lot of inquiries and the more inquiries we get for them the better it is but also we, we've done this we've just done our first test and for a twenty five thousand rand subscription we made eighty thousand rands and only one of those bookings was for that villa the rest were for other villas so it's you know, the more home away mandates, the better. We're actually speaking to home away about um, a different system, but we've got to get 200 villas uh, on our books first. And there's two ways to do that. One is to buy into a property management system called Razor. I already spoken to Razor, not about buying in, but about us using them to, uh, to, to, to connect to home away. And they said, yes, as long as we get the owner's permission another way is there's a lot of people renting um you know only for christmas and new year and they're you know and sort of mid-range villas or even apartments and there's not a lot of uh not a lot of um companies paying much attention to them so the idea could be to pay a little bit of attention to them you know do it give each one a photo shoot put them on but each time get them to say we can put them into uh into home away and we get the 200 that way as soon as we get those 200 on home away you know there's gonna be a lot of inquiries coming in and it would be free it's uh it works out as a six percent commission or an eight percent commission if we don't use if we um use their financial gateway okay so you know a lot of potential here other subscriptions is uh just things like cape stay and uh quinn essentially villas there's a few real estate dot com i think it is luxury real estate dot com they they got a system we can put everything from every person we want on it for uh, for a minimal fee it's quite cool okay uh, one second where are we now okay so we're going to get into we've we've looked at um we looked at the mandates, how they work for villas. Um, do we need to look any closer? This is the villa mandate page. Now this is based on 18,000 a night. Okay, if you wanna change this around, you just change that figure there to 10,000 a night. This is the mid season price. So it's like March or November, change that everything changes. So you can do all sorts of prices there. And here we can see, 
if we look at it below actually ah uh, this is year one and this is year two what we've done is i've just used year two because some villas are going to be in my third year some villas are going to be in their third year so they're doing this but some are going to be in their first so the average is year two so we've just worked on this year two and here's the uh here's the total money made and of that 25 percent is uh is for commission in this case we've said 55 percent of that will go to the mandate holder the villa rental company but villa rental real estate company and uh, so 45 percent will go to affiliates or booking channels and 75 percent of what we make for the villa we're attributing to income and it's basically it's like another villa rental website it's just coming from an individual villa that we're marketing in a specific way uh, that figure this figure here this we do use the um, the software calculations to multiply that because it's 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 just it, it's it's a it's a valid format for inquiries that uh, we can use again and again and again. This one, we, we very, very, we don't put a lot of uh, onto the software at all because obviously you can't rent more nights than there are available. Okay, right now I've got to get back on point. I think we're going to look at the sales now. Okay, this is what I've considered. Now, this really does, you know, I, I don't know the exact ins and outs, so this could well be slightly wrong or quite a bit wrong, but I'd imagine the end result in terms of uh, income is about right. There are, we're saying in the third year of Cape Luxury Villas and what is it? What was my favorite? Africanhomes.com and Villa Secrets all working together as one company one Villa Secrets franchise. I'd, you know, I'd expect to do more, but, um, you know, plan for the worst. So we're thinking that in that in that third year from those three websites and um, four villas mandated to Villa Secrets real estate company uh, get sold. So four villas that over the previous years have been built or attained in that year uh, get sold and we're, we're sort of we're looking at maybe one's 20 million one's 40 one's 60 one's 80 we're not sure about the commission four percent for 20 going down to 2.5 for 80 but we will follow the rules we're not going to start trying to be an undercutting company because that's not going to get us anywhere um referral fee there is no referral fee in this case because it's a it's it's the, the the villa was already mandated to the real estate company however the affiliate commission now this is um when the villa is sold via an agency that's um another agency so let's say uh I don't really want to get into naming names. Let's say it's let's just say Christie's or Sotheby's um, uh, were uh, found a client and came to us. This uh, uh, us this this new entity for real estate company, Civil Secrets Real Estate, Cape Town, and they made the booking. In that case, the the, the commission would get split 50-50, But that's not going to happen all the time. So I'm saying, well, it might happen one two times. So hence, twenty five percent on average for affiliate commissions. So we take that off. Um, and I think, <laughs> again, I stand to be corrected. I think the um, the sales agent who sells it and the, um, the sales agent that owned the mandate get 50% as well. So that's 50% off there. And then the agency makes this. Now, I do stand to be corrected, and I would like to be corrected if I am not correct. 
Um, but uh, I think it, the worst case scenario, if I am wrong, is it's going to make more and actually my figures are, are low and it'll bring, me, bring the GP up anyway. Okay, so that's, that's we're thinking four villas that we've got mandated would get sold in that year. We're also thinking four villas that get mandated to visit secrets network companies that get sold, i.e. the villa rental companies, specifically Cape Town Luxury Villas, which, um, which, which is we're in the process of the final parts of negotiations before that sale goes through. Very much looking forward to that. Um, that, that company is equally motivated to make get mandates and they will probably get as many if not more because they have the rights to villasecrets.com in Cape Town so if a villa rent and you know if someone's wanting to rent a villa you know their first thing is going to be well you know villa secrets is the brand I want to be a, I want to give my villa to the person that uh, that uh, controls the, the inquiries from Villa Secrets. However, that's on the other hand, uh, you know, if, a real, if, if this company, the real estate company, wanted to put a mandate forward, they've got free websites themselves, they've got their parent company. So there's reasons for everybody to, to win here. I think the point I'm making is that others will win and it's likely that they will have, you know, quite a few mandates. We're looking at a few companies specifically a developer, um, an architect, you know, it doesn't take brain science to work out who that is. One just needs to look at the homepage of our website and uh, others who are just there to recruit mandates who really do very little other than make a few phone calls and chip and, and make a lot of money. So there's going to be a lot of mandates from the um, others. And in most cases, they'll be mandated to rent and first option to sale. And uh, just on that point, let's have a quick look at um, mandates, mandates, marketing. Oh, where is it? I'm... It's not here. thousand reasons to sign a mandate. I think it might be there. One million reasons, rather. Um, yeah, prepare for sale. Loads of stuff going on. Estate agents pack, magazines in it. Uh, all sorts of stuff. Read this. Awards, websites, architectsawards.org, villaawards.org, africanvillaawards.com. Articles that we're going to do, Villa Hotels, Brick Brand Photo Shoots. Okay, so that's a, and that, that basically we're putting it all in this one pack. So every time someone wants to buy the villa or is interested, they get a big pack, you know, and it'll, you know, it'll be branded with the, the name of Villa Secrets and, you know, whatever the, the, the subsidiary estate agent is. Um, yeah, I mean, it'd be a very exciting pack. You know, you imagine someone walks in and you give them four or five different packs, or if they're international, you send them. That's, you know, all of this we've, we've, we've um, put into it. And we're going to be doing the magazine, the Villa Secrets magazine. We did Cape Villas magazine in 2009. It was fantastic. 30,000 copies, 22 with Condé Nast Traveller. Had Bulgari phone us up, asking to be in the next one, telling us they didn't understand how... There was so much luxury. They didn't understand. They didn't know there was so much luxury in Africa. Um, but this this magazine, we're not going to be distributing with Condo Nas because one, it didn't actually make that amount. We had actually one booking that paid for half of the costs of everything. But, um, you know, Condo Nas Traveller subscriptions, it's good for the agents. But um, the, the, most of the travellers are not particularly interested. Well, they were particularly interested in going to Cape Town in a villa. Maybe they're more in for Africa. But anyway, the, the point is, everyone that inquires to any one of our companies is a better target than a random person from Condé Nast. So that's the, that's the plan, is to send the magazine out and various brochures to each person that's interested, everyone that inquires, 
Um, so, uh, you know, so they've got it on their coffee table. You know, that's 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 our, our main marketing is is to directly target it to people who inquire. OK, let's get back to where I was now. Yeah, OK, this is it. Um, OK, so that's the Villa Secrets Network for Villas mandated to the Villa Secrets Network companies. So four, four, four Villas that get network get mandated, sorry, to other companies that will be sold by the Villa Secrets Real Estate Network company. Now, the idea is there's only one or two real estate companies and they can buy out other companies and make sub companies. Um, the general idea is one would be a local company who is the best locally and one would be one of the international brands and either Christie's or Sotheby's. Um, but however, you know, it might pan out that um, no one's really getting it, even though there's a million rands worth of marketing for each mandate, which really actually I can't see anybody not getting it. But it might turn out that, um, you know, we just create our own real estate company and, and work with the agents, you know, get a few of the agents that um, are really on fire, uh, who have done well over the years and, and give them a quarter of the company each and let them run with it. Who knows? But, you know, plan, plan A is, is to find a company that wants to invest. So as we got another four million in the marketing kitty. OK, so. All of the companies, all of the various Villa Secrets companies will be trying to get mandates with an option to sell. First three months or, you know, then the, the, the estate agent of record for an open mandate taking only 25%, I don't know. Um, and of, of those companies, you know, people coming to Villa Secrets, people coming to all, you know, they, they're gonna have a lot of mandates and um, these these are the these are the four we reckon will sell four ma four mandates from other networks uh, other Villa Secret network companies in the third year. Okay, so this is a free. Okay, what's this? This is the third source of sales. Four bidders recruited for sale and sold by Villa Secret estate agents. Okay, that's simple. Um, instead of recruiting one for um for, for 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 rental and then sale just you know act like a uh, like a real estate agent and try and get um, try and get uh, try and get mandates that way um and in which case i think we're gonna half the i've looked at it maybe a half maybe a quarter you know maybe we'll do two hundred and fifty thousand. maybe we'll do five hundred thousand in marketing Depending on the price, if it's 1.150 million round villa, we'll 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 do more like one million. Um, okay, so that's the last one. Is let's have a look. Villas mandated to real estate agents' primary business that gets sold to clients via inquiries originating from the Villa Secrets Network. Okay, so say we're with um, Christie's, and they've got a property, and we basically introduce the buyer. There we go, that's that one. So that's another four sales chipped up. Okay, so that's, you know, I mean, this is really, you know, this is an amateur doing um, doing a job here because I, you know, this isn't my chosen field. I've never got into this. I, I've just spoken to quite a few estate agents over the years and this is what I think how the system works in terms of referrals. But I think it's safe to say, given the marketing and the size of the network, that um, those villas are going to get, that, you know, four villas are going to get made from the uh, from the company that has the mandate. Four are going to get made from the rest of the network. Four are just going to be done for sale. And four inquiries are going to make sales for the estate agents we partner with primary business. OK, so let's get back to where are we? We want to be we want to be here. OK, here we go. Here's those one, two, three, four. I've just pro rated them over the year. Cape Luxury Villas mandated property sales. Villa Secrets Network mandate sold by Cape Town Luxury Villas. Oh, I haven't labeled this one correctly. Uh, what is it? What is it? Recruited for sale. Ah, OK, for sale. 
and it's on. Okay, a few villains, mandates for sale only. Okay. Okay, and this last one is leads from. I'm actually not. This is the the one that I'm least confident about because I'm not sure whether that revenue should be in this spreadsheet or whether it should be in the um, the villa the, the real estate companies GP their own GP and only the referral. I think only the referral should be shown here. Oh look, you know, someone give me some advice. It's fine. Okay, right. So we've looked at the income streams. We've seen that there's a lot of flexibility. We've seen that we're, we're predicting 8.4, of which 10% comes from the Villa Rentals website. 60% comes from the recruitment of Villa Mandates. And 30% comes from the sale of properties. And I think we're good. I think... Um, you know, I think this is a, a good a point to leave it as any. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry it's been all over the place, but, um, you know, time is not my friend. And I do need to uh, get on with stuff. So there's no time to rehearse and go over this a few times. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.